right. So we're back in row as you can see. And uh, yeah, it's early morning. Well, morning ish, it's about to be 12 noon. And uh, we're gonna play a quick session in the morning. So let's see how it goes. So on the first hand we're gonna go over, we are eight-handed. There's a button straddle for five. I'm under the gun with ace, deuce of clubs. I know it's a little bit loose. Well, a lot loose, let's be honest. I'll go ahead and open up to 15. Only the little jack calls and the cutoff calls. So we're through ace to a flop of four, three, eight with one club. I'll go ahead and decide a C bet 20. Only the little jack calls. And uh, he wants us to refer to him as scrub legend. In the vlog, we're going heads up to a turn with Scrub Legend, which is the Ace of Diamonds. I'll go ahead and bet to 35. He makes the call, and we're still heads up to River, which is a offsuit jack. I don't know what he's going to be calling the turn with, the, the flopping turn bet with. Maybe he has some backdoor potential and trying to maybe bink something, or he doesn't believe me. So I'll go ahead and check it to him, and he quickly checks back. We show our hand and he shows pocket fives. So we take this one down. All right, so in the next hand we're gonna be going over, it's been a couple of hands later, and we are in the low jack with queen five of diamonds. Folds around to me, and since nobody wants to play, I'll go ahead and raise up to eight. Hijack decides to raise to 21. The button calls, the small blind calls, Getting somewhat of a good price here. Uh, only got to call 13 to win somewhat to like 86 total. And as I call our old friend Scrub Legend, who's on the button at this time, ask if I have jacks. You have jacks? have jacks? Yeah. No? I got jacks. Okay. I kind of look at him and shrug and say no. And interesting enough, the flock comes queen eight jack rainbow. Small blind leaves for 30. I call, folds around to the button who shoves all in for 74 effective small blind ends up getting out of the way and it's on me now so i'm tanking for a long time for some reason that for some reason that comment that he made asking me if i had jacks really kind of made me think about you know what could he be shoving on the, on this flop with the only thing that i keep thinking about was maybe he did reverse tell and he has jacks just that comment asking if i had jacks kept playing in my head over and over again I have a queen, yes, but I'm losing the jacks, you know, queen jack, jack eight, queen eight, anything like that, a higher, higher queen, it kind of makes me think, but for some reason, just that comment just stuck in my head. After taking for a good while, I end up making a top fold and show him the queen. He looks at me and says, good fold, and he shows me another queen. Had I had king queen, queen jack, obviously, would call ace queen, any higher queen I would call, but since my kicker was so mediocre, nope. I'll go ahead and make the fold. But I don't know why that comment with the jacks kind of played in my head and got to me. All right, in this next hand we're gonna go over, this next fun hand we're gonna go over, I am under the gun with queen jack suited. Standard open, gonna go ahead and open it to 10. The low jack calls and the high jack decides to move all in for 88. The cutoff calls for less. And the folds are back around to me. And I'm taking whether I should call or not. It should be an easy fold. But for some reason, kind of in the mood to gamble. You know, it's it's against our old friend, Scrub Legend. Who, you know, kind of plays a little loose and kind of plays a, a little reckless. Uh, thinking, I'm a, thinking I'm ahead of his range. You know, that he's going to shove. Thinking that he's going to be... You're not thinking that he's not going to be shoving aces, kings, or anything like that. Uh, I think he would maybe raise, you know, maybe a uh, flat call on that for those hands. Um, sure, he can, but the way he's been playing, I'm not sure if he's going to be open shoving those hands just by the way he's been playing lately. So I'll go ahead and make the gamble. I go ahead and call his 88, and we're off to the streets. Board runs out. 10, 4, 6, ace, and a 5 on the river. Our old friend, Scrub Legend, shows queen 10 suited. 
for a for a flat pair. Big part of me likes the fact that I put them on the, that specific kind of range, uh, but obviously not liking the call overall. Need to work on that. In this next hand, there's a button shadow for four. There's five lippers in front of me. I'm in the small blind with looking down at a seven offsuit. Uh, once again, it's kind of a loose call for some reason. I know I should fold this, but I end up making the call. Goes back to the button who has option and he decides to raise to 30. Really, I should really be folding this now. But as played, I'll go ahead and make the very, very loose call. So there's low jack and the cutoff. Flop comes queen, eight, nine. I check and it checks around. Turns it off to deuce. I check and it checks around again. Rear is another deuce. Checks back to the button who ends up betting 60. Having ace high with nothing compared on the board. I really am putting him on another ace high and we'd be chopping with the queen. And uh, I'll go ahead and make the hero call and try to call it with the ace high. Everybody else folds and he flips over ace deuce offsuit. Should have folded when he raised to 30. Really not liking my plays now. Okay, in this hand, there's another button straddle for four. There's two limps in front of me. I'm in the cutoff, and I look down on jack nine off. Once again, kind of a little loose, but I go ahead and raise to 10. I end up misclicking here, thinking that I was raising it to 12, but only raised to 10. So as played, the button, the big blind, and the low jack make the call. So we're four ways to a flop of jack to six. The low jack decides to lead up for 14. I'll go ahead and make the call and the button calls. So now we're three ways to a turn, which is a 10 of clubs. Checks to me, I'll go ahead and bet 20 and only the low jack calls. So we're heads up to a river, which is the ace of club. He checks and I'll go ahead and check back, losing to an ace and losing to a lot of hands. And he shows jack seven of clubs for a flat pair runner runner flush. We end up losing this hand. Okay, it is bomb pot time. But in this case, we're gonna get five cards and we're only gonna get one board. We're playing with that little bomb pot button, card protector, coin token thing that's been going around counterclockwise against the button flow. So like per use, everybody answers five, five dollars and uh, we get to see in this case one board with no pre-flop action. So anteed up and we're off to see a flop of five queen nine two clubs. I check my hand and I have ace jack two four four with two clubs. Checks around to the button who bets pot. He ends up bidding 35. Folds around to the hijack who calls. I go ahead and call, kind of not going anywhere with the flush draw and maybe some backdoor potentials. So we're three ways to your turn which is at jack of spades. Checks to the button who ends up checking it this time. So we're still three ways to a river which is the nine of clubs. Hit my flush. I go ahead and check to the button, thinking that he's gonna continue betting. He ends up betting 75. I go ahead and make the call, and he shows us Not ace flush. 10 of clubs for the nut flush. And that hurt. That really did hurt. All right, Saturday, come and take a little break. It's uh, lost a couple of hands there and uh, not doing too good. Um, not playing, not playing well today. Not uh, playing well at all. I um, that I should have folded that a seven hand. I was thinking about it and for some reason I called like a dumb nut and then um, calling, calling stupid hands and that uh, that jack seven of um, that jack seven. That jack seven hand that I had, that, that's what kind of messed me up too, that flush over flush. It is what it is. I'm actually stuck now. So, we see what happens. Um, decided to take a little break. So, gonna clear my head real quick and go back in and play with my the rest of my money and see what happens. So 
been a little, been a couple of hands after I took that little break trying to clear my head. Under gun raises it to four, which is surprising. There's three callers, and I'm in the big blind with seven, eight of hearts. I go ahead and make the call, and we are five ways to a flop of four, four, six with two hearts. I go ahead and check to the raiser, who continues betting to 25. Folds around to me and having a flush draw with some straight potential, obviously not going nowhere. I go ahead and make the standard call. It turns to 10 of hearts. So we make our flush. I go ahead and check and he ends up checking back. River is an offset deuce. Not having much in my stack, I go ahead and shove all in for 48. And he ends up tanking for a long time. I think it over and ends up making the call. We end up flipping that hand over and we are good. He ends up showing us pocket eights. So we end up taking a good size pot down. Kind of rebuilding our stack. Starting to make the comeback. In this hand, once again, there's a button shot for four. There's two limbs in front of me. I am in the cutoff looking at King Jack off. I go ahead and limp. The small blind calls, the big blind calls. And it falls back to the button shadow who ends up raising it to 25. The big blind calls. So I'm like in my hand. Uh, Blocking a couple, couple of the strong hands that the button would raise with king, uh, ace, king, kings, jacks, any of those kind of hands, king, queen, uh, queen, jack, those kind of type of holdings. So I end up making a call, and we are three ways to a flop of king, ten, five, rainbow. Big blind just automatically folds outright, not even wanting to play in the hand. I go ahead and check, and the button, surprisingly, who was about to muck his cards, I guess didn't realize I had cards, was about to muck his cards, and then all of a sudden saw mine. He ends up pulling them back and kind of laughs about it, you know, saying that he was that he almost folded. So, of course, we would have liked that. We were in the pot straight out, but he ends up betting 25. Uh, not going anywhere with the top, top pair, you know, kind of good kicker. I go ahead and make the call. Turns an offsuit three. I think I get a little too excited because I end up shoving all in here. In retrospect, I should have checked so that way it can, can that way it gives him a, a chance to continue with some of his bluffs or all of his bluffs. Uh, but as played, I go ahead and shove all in. He ends up uh, tanking for a good while before folding. We end up winning a good pot right here before calling it a night. For 200 out for 221 something like that uh, kind of it's kind of weird you always get happy uh, you always get happy how can I say you have a mixed emotions you uh, lose a lot be on be be mad and upset and everything like that and then you get stuck like I was and then come up and win 21 bucks and be happy about it. So uh, happy to get somewhere in, somewhere in the black, wish it was a lot more and wish I was uh, playing better today. But as bad as I was playing, hey, as long as I broke even and even a little bit more, I'm happy with that. I'll take that all day. So yeah, that's it. Uh, if you like the vlogs, remember to leave a like Drop a comment. Uh, we'd like some feedback on how these vlogs are doing, any hands I've played. Uh, some of them I understand, <laughs> just really bad playing. Other times it's just if I could play a little bit better. And uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And yeah, that's it. So yeah, so see y'all next time.